everyone so this is kind of a bonus video because at the moment I've only been uploading on a Monday Wednesday and a Friday but I just feel like that's kind of not enough but seven days a week is like a little bit too much so this is kind of gonna be a bonus a bonus video <laughs> oh aren't you lucky <laughs> Right, so anyway, let's just crack on. I'm using my flexi finger. Um, this is just one of the fingers that I've taken off of my flexi hand. Um, the acrylics I'm using are the soft pastel acrylics from Nao. I've got um, lilac, green, yellow, pink and blue. And all I'm doing is I'm working a little bit wet, but I'm still dra draining some of that liquid out of the back of the brush before I pop it on the nail. Um, and I'm just putting the colours on just randomly on the nail so I put the lilac at the cuticle area I covered the whole cuticle area with the lilac just so that I made sure that the cuticle area was just nice and neat so as you can see I'm popping the color on blending blending it down and then blending it up over those other colors so that it just sort of I mean it, the blend doesn't have to be perfect but I wanted it to look a little bit blended as opposed to just thrown on. And then of course we're gonna add some glitter. <laughs> so I've been putting my nail sugar glitters in stackers. Um, at the moment they're all in those Perspex drawers, the clear Perspex drawers in, in individual pots. Um, but it's just taking up too much room on my desk. So I've started putting them into stackers and then sort of framing them and they're, they're going on the, on the wall. So I'm taking all the glitters that I want to use for this set out of the stackers. I've got Lemon Fizz, Blue Lagoon, Apple Teeny, Sugar Baby and Lavender Lights. Go and look on the website www.nailsugar.co.uk. Karen sells some amazing glitters. Um, these are probably my go-to pastely iridescent fine glitters that I like. These are these are probably my favourite ones. Um, and all I'm doing is picking them up with a very small bead of clear acrylic, and I'm popping them over the patch of um, colour. Like so, for instance, like the the lavender lights I've put over the lilac, and then the apple teeny I'm going to put over the green acrylic. Do you see what I mean? <laughs> Not what I mean, Harry. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just going to do that all over the, the nail until it's completely covered. You don't have to put glitter on. You can leave it just acrylic-y. acrylic, -y. acrylic -y. Just leave it like plain. It still looks pretty. But obviously I love my nail sugar so I have to put some nail sugar in somewhere. Lemon Fizz is quite a new one but it's like my, oh, it's, it's really, it's really nice. Um, Karen's also got another one called Tweety Pie. It's the yellow one that I want to get because I'm going to do a hand painted Tweety Pie nail. <laughs> um, can't wait to give that a go. So I'm going to cap the nail now in clear acrylic. And I will go ahead and file and buff it once it has set. So this is what it looks like at the moment. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I'm going to take my um, one of my drill bits, and I'm just going to with this one. I'm kind of mapping out some holes where I want some holes to go. You'll see why in a minute. I know, I know. Like, what's she doing? <laughs> Actually, you would have seen the thumbnail with the with the nail in, so you probably know what I'm doing. But <laughs> so I'm just using this one. To, I don't want to go too mad with this one because obviously I don't want the holes to be too wide so I'm just starting by putting a little because these have got sort of I don't know how to explain it um, the other bits that I'm using they haven't got much I don't know I'm just not gonna say anything because <laughs> I'm gonna sound like an idiot again <laughs> so I changed my drill bit for a finer drill bit a narrower drill bit I don't know what this drill bit does it was one of the free ones that came with my e-file and I was gonna throw it away because I was like I don't know what it does and I was worried it was gonna be a cheap crappy drill, uh, drill bit and um, not the drill I love the drill um, but because this is quite a narrow one I'm using this just to go into the holes that I've already create um, and just 
go through the nails so these are the jump rings that i bought from aliexpress oh, i bloody love these they're brilliant that i tell you what the whole box one whole box cost me about one pound 52 and you get so many jump rings in them so i got both jump i got both boxes for about three pounds couldn't believe it um so I've put five holes on, but that top hole that's, that I, I probably, if that was a client, I wouldn't have done that. Because <laughs> it was like really close to the nail. Um, really close to the finger, sorry. I'm just using my detailer brush just to go into the holes so that um, the top coat doesn't block up the holes again. Um, but obviously I wanted to top coat it before I put the rings in because the rings would just get in the way. So now I'm just using two pairs of tweezers and you can see I've, I've opened the hoops up, put them through the holes and then I'm just closing them back up again. So I'm just going to do this for all the colours. I tried to go for the lighter colours um, in the box, in the boxes to match the, because obviously it's more of a pastel -y nail. But I will be using these again. I, I think these are brilliant. I've seen people use these actually in nail designs before. And I, I've always thought, oh, I want to give that a go. So there we go. I've got my five rings on. So this is what they, they look like at the moment. Um, I did wipe over the nail with some IPA just to clean the surface because I'm going to pop some of these nail sugar mixed ab crystals um i think the sizes range from ss3 to ss16 i always say that but do look on the website www.nailsugar.co.uk just to double check um I'm, I'm using my kiara sky base to adhere these and the reason i cleaned over the nail surface was because um i hear annabelle m say if you're going to pop these on over top coat to wipe the nail clean first otherwise the crystals will go all over the place um so that's what I've done. <laughs> and um, this is the finished nail. Uh, I'm thinking that, that fifth one at the top nearer the, the, nail, but the nail bed was a bit of a mistake because it doesn't move very, very well. But um, I wanted to get as many on as I could. I just I think this is just a really fun nail. So anyway, I hope you like this video. Um, if you did, please leave me a thumbs up. If you haven't already, do consider subscribing. And I will see you all next week. Thanks for watching. Bye.